In this video, we're gonna talk about Starlink internet for RVers. Does it work and what should you really expect? We've actually been testing it out for ourselves and we're gonna share those results with you, so stay tuned. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. So first of all, let's talk about what Starlink is. So Starlink is an internet service that is provided via satellite. Now, when Starlink was first kind of put out there and Elon Musk, who owns Starlink, was talking about the service he was building, really what it was designed for was to bring internet service to more remote locations that either had not had service before or had very poor service in the past just because being in a more remote area. Satellites right now are being launched almost on a monthly basis. Right now where we've been here in Central Florida for the last few months, we're seeing launches on the schedule all of the time. And there's currently 1,915 satellites that are in orbit as of the time of this recording, which of course is changing all of the time because they're sending more and more up pretty much every month. Now, before we share our results of our tests, we do want to make sure that you understand that because this is a constantly evolving and changing type of system in service, information does change and new features roll out. There's new information that rolls out. So make sure that you've hit that subscribe button because as we move forward with our Starlink, we're gonna keep bringing you updates on what's going on, what our future test results are, as we travel with our Starlink system throughout this coming year. So we signed up for Starlink over six months ago because the need to stay connected on the road obviously is a, a pretty big need because we've had troubles staying connected on the road when we had just one particular service provider, one hotspot. We've actually evolved to where we now carry three hotspots with three different providers just so that we can make sure we're staying connected on the road. Now we're of course looking for a more all-in-one service solution and that's where Starlink comes in. And so we have been curious and we have been definitely wanting to test out the Starlink system and see how well that this would work for us as an all-in-one solution. So when we went to sign up, the way that it works when you go to the Starlink website and you put in your service address, which is the address they're going to ship your satellite to, they're gonna let you know if there is service available in that area right away or not. And kind of how you know is if they give you a price of the big package up front, well, they're ready to ship you that satellite right then and there. It means you could get connected in that area from the get-go. If they just ask for the deposit, that means that service isn't available in that area yet where you've put in that service address, but it will be coming and that you're kind of signing up then on like a wait list, which is what happened to us when we put in our service address in Central Florida where our home base is located. Now, we actually did test out when we signed up for this about six months ago by putting in a service address to have the satellite shipped to of a family member's house in South Dakota where we were at the time that we were traveling and it would have been available right then and right there had we chosen to go that route but we didn't want to have any sort of lag with having it shipped and then moving on if we missed the delivery. So we chose to just wait and have it shipped to our home base versus having it shipped to us on the road. So one of the big questions that a lot of people have had or how Starlink has typically worked in the past is you put in that service address, they ship you that dish, and then the way that it works is that dish is assigned to a specific cell in that area. Now, if you think about like a cell tower, you have certain phones that are connected to a tower in a specific area and that's where you're getting that signal. Well, the way that Starlink works is they have cells of satellites in a given area. And the way it has worked in the past is your dish is gonna be assigned to a specific cell in that specific area. And if you move your dish out of that area, well, it's no longer connected to that cell and you don't have service. 
It also had been in the past where there wasn't really an option to change the service address to a different area. And that's where some of our testing has revealed some pretty cool results about what we were able to do to be able to get internet while we were on the road this last trip out. So where can you make sure that there's a cell? <laughs> well, that's where it gets a little tricky because there's not really a coverage map with Starlink. So say with a cell phone carrier like Verizon, you can go to Verizon and you can look at their coverage map and see where the coverage is. That's not really something that Starlink has available just yet. So what we had to do and what we've been able to do is go onto our Starlink account and drill down on the map to a specific area and click a button that says change service address. Now our ultimate destination was a campground that was just outside of Big Pine Key in the Florida Keys. When we chose to change the service address to this campground address, we did get a message saying that there was not service available for that address. So it didn't work for us at the campground. However, when we were kind of digging around wanting to test things out, we did find that if we put our service address in Homestead, Florida, that there was an active cell and that we were able to change that service address to Homestead, Florida. But we weren't exactly in Homestead, Florida. We drove just to the outside of Key Largo, which is about 30 miles away from Homestead, still in the Florida Keys. We set up the dish and we had service. So that basically would tell us that if you're within a certain mileage range of an active cell, change your service address to that cell, that most likely you'll have service, or at least that's what our test results had indicated for us so far. Now we have been hearing some reports from some Starlink users that they've actually been able to roam. And basically what that means is they're able to get service with their dish without changing their service address. So they're able to take their dish with them, set it up, and they have service without having to go through the service address change process. So there is a potential that maybe in the future this roaming feature may be enabled for more people or it's possible Starlink might actually come out with an extra roaming service as they build out their system where you're able to use this type of feature and roam without changing that service address. So we'll keep you updated on how Starlink is working out for us as we continue to travel and continue to test it out in more locations. Now, if our test results are anything like this initial go round, of being able to find a cell in a larger area, choose that as our service address. And then even if we're within 20 or 30 miles of that, still have service, we'll keep you posted. But that's kind of what we're expecting will happen since that's what happened with our initial test result. I did want to take a quick minute because I know so many of you guys are thinking about trip planning right now, as are we and thank the sponsor of today's video, campgroundviews.com. Now, campgroundviews.com has just added over 700 more campgrounds to their campground library. And this year in 2022, their goal is to have all of the state parks now with virtual tours that are available. So we love being able to use this tool for our trip planning to be able to look at campsites before we book them, especially those that are in national forests or other places where it's really hard to get an idea of what that campsite looks like by just looking at the website map. And bonus right now through March the 1st, you can save 25% off a Campground Views membership. I'll leave the code and the link in the description below. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you can get future updates because we will be making updates as we have more information. So you'll have to let us know about your questions or your experience with Starlink if you're using it right now in the comments below. We're highly curious about what other users are experiencing or just about what are the general questions that people have when it comes to mobile internet and Starlink specifically. So you'll have to drop us a comment below and definitely let us know your thoughts. If you'd like to see some more videos about mobile internet and internet on the road, I'll put those right up here. If you would like to see just some travel vlog type of videos, I'll stick those right up here. Don't forget to subscribe right down here and you can watch some quick videos on Instagram 
right over here. If we don't see you out on the road or at the campground, we'll definitely see you in the next video.